Question four, part A says, what percentage of the values in a normal distribution lie above the mean? Think about that for a second. What percent of the uh, values in a normal distribution lie above the mean? So the mean is supposed to be where? In the middle. So what percent are above that? 50%, half of them. If it's in the middle, then half of your data is above that point, okay? You can, you can kind of sketch that if you need to, but um, that's why I have those graphs there. Uh, B, what percentage of the values lie more than two standard deviations from the mean? So this is just a twist on what we were just doing, okay? So what percent lie within two standard deviations? 95, so what percentage are more than two standard deviations? 5%, it's what's left over. If 95% if is within two standard deviations, meaning two above, two below, then you've got 5% left over that's more than two standard deviations. Um, what percentage of the values in a normal distribution lie more than two standard deviations above the mean? Hmm? Mm, be careful. Lie above, more than two standard deviations above. We change the word from to above. So what does that change? Hmm? Key to normal distribution is it symmetric? 2.5. 2.5. It's going back, we just kind of worked with this. What did it mean to be statistically significant? You had to be in the outer 5%. Well, that was split between the above and the below. Okay, so one little word makes all the difference right here. B says more than two standard deviations from the mean, so that means either direction. C says more than two standard deviations above, so you're just talking about this half of it up here, so that's just the 2.5%. Let's look at D. What percentage of the values in a normal distribution lie more than one standard <coughs> deviation of the mean? So, what percent lie within one standard deviation? 68, so what do we have left over? 32. 32% 32 of your data is more than one standard deviation from the mean. That's above and below. If it was just above, <coughs> we're narrowing it down to 16% above, 16% below one standard deviation. Okay, so that got us thinking a little bit. Let's look at some actual, actual data here. Okay, let's look at some actual data. Um, we've got the weights of babies of a given age and gender are approximately normally distributed. Um, and so I don't know if you've ever heard, if you had a younger sibling, um, your parents talking about what percentile they are for height and weight. Um, they've kind of charted this um, so you can kind of compare. Now this is uh, for baby boys, okay? Um, we've got six months old and we have 12 months old for their weights. It says on separate axes with the same scales, draw sketches that represent the distribution of weights for six months old and 12 months old. Um, so you've got two, I put two graphs there above that problem. Um, you're going to graph them on separate ones. It says, but use the same scale. Okay, it says use the same <laughs> scale. Um, so whatever you put in the middle of uh, one of them, you've got to put it in the middle of the other one, okay? Um, so go ahead and do that. And this